Another day, another dollar. That's what I always say about things. Because it's Thursday morning, people. And I got a lot of stuff to do today, which might make the vlog a little shorter than usual. But we will see. Finished my computer work over at the office, the uh, teacher's board office, whatever you want to call it. Also got to do uh, work myself. So I got a lot of running around to doing shit, so welcome to my vlog. I've gone ahead and unpacked this uh, hard drive, but I'm looking around in the box and I'm not seeing any screws. I screw this thing closed. There's no screws with it. Big six, I think I bought an open one. And buddy never included the screws for it. Son of a bitch. Oh well, we'll have to uh, just jerry rig some screws into it or something. Unless the screws are in with the manual. No, this is right here. It should be coming with some screws. Big six, sons of bitches. I'm almost tempted to use this piece of shit and then return it when I'm done. Kind of upset that it didn't come with the locking screws because this back plate just like it comes out so easily, eh? And on the inside, it's just basic. You freaking mount your hard drive and stab it in there and you're done. Very simple operation. But uh, the fact that it didn't come with screws, it's kind of a piss off. Alrighty, I got my new enclosure. I'm just gonna go downstairs, brush my hair, and head out of the house and go get shit did because I hate when he does this. He comes halfway up the stairs and he blocks me. He's such a dick. He's such a dick. But uh, I'm just gonna brush my hair, try and look somewhat professional today. You know, it's hard. It's hard to look professional. But it's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. So, <laughs> Alright, I got all the shit I need to do this job. And, uh, shouldn't be that hard, so. Would you stop it? Oh my god, this dog's driving me nuts. Okay, I'm gonna let him out. And then we're gonna go. Oh, well, I gotta put my garbage out too. Forgot about that. And then, uh, yeah. We're gonna head off and get this shit done and hopefully get paid. Cause, uh, huh, I really need money. Cause I, oh Jesus. Doesn't he look focused? Doesn't he look focused on his poop? Freaking Oreo, a little popple. I'm gonna drop the dookie. Every time he comes in the house, he has to jump at me. Such a pain in the arse. Freak sakes. But yeah, I got some, uh, actually I got a rocket piss. And then we're gonna head out and then, uh, go from there. So. Yeah, buddy. Almost forgot my screwdriver. Can't do that. I need that. So, okay, now I'm ready. Let's get out of here. Alrighty, well, like I said, I had some running around to doing things. And now I'm going to head off to the office and get shit done. So, yep, a dap. I have a battle plan. Hopefully, this battle plan goes off without a hitch. And uh, this works, and we can get everything recovered. And the uh, teachers are the. Uh, people over at the uh, school board don't lose any data and everything works fine. That's what I'm hoping for. I want to get into this lane. Freak sakes, everybody's just fucking driving like arseholes today. Look at that. Mid, you see that? Mid-intersection freaking cut off. That was, that was brilliant. Person in that freaking, how oh, is that, a Dodge? Probably a Dodge truck in front of this uh, Honda Accord. This Honda Accord, I, I don't think that he knows that there's a throttle pedal because uh, I've been following him for a bit and I don't think he's ever done over 20 kilometers an hour. Son of a bitch. But, uh, you know, whatevs. Just chat with Pug1 there. He's having some problems with uh, rendering for YouTube. And, well, I guess a lot of you found out last night on his video when he went to watch it. Some people probably got it no problem. But other people like me, I went to go watch it and I got the stupid and an error has occurred problem. Now, this could be that uh, well YouTube's added a bunch of changes right I don't know if you guys have noticed but they finally released it for everyone I've had it for a while but uh, they finally released it for everyone there's a community tab to see who your biggest fans are like who's your number one most uh, friggin commenter and stuff on your channel or your most engaged audience members then you can check out and see who subscribed when and find out who your first subscriber is you know and then you can find out uh, a bunch of other cool things and they also added some free music you can use in YouTube videos without getting dicked over for copyright. All of this can be seen under the video manager tab. You'll see on the left hand side it'll have brackets new brackets. Well I went ahead and submitted all the Arcade Fire and Ice songs to the uh, the free music library because friggin if I can do that then that's one less channel I gotta you know do anything with and that'd be awesome. I still want to make a channel, just a stupid channel, and just put ridiculously stupid videos on it and see if it works like that uh, pronunciation book site. 
just make it very basic, very stupid, post videos to it and see what happens. Like there's some sites out there that are like, they're corny but the content is great. Like it's a corny funny so I can understand why it's getting the views it's getting. Like the How To Basics channel where Buddy's sitting there and he's like, you know, how to freaking do this and then he shows this like completely ridiculous video how not to do it and it's completely ridiculous and but it's funnier than Frank so I like that. In case you're wondering what channel I'm talking about, look up How To Basic and he teaches you stuff like how to twerk like Miley Cyrus, how to upgrade to iOS 7 and basically take the videos with a grain of salt because they're not real. <laughs> I wonder how much trouble I'm going to get into tonight at work. I kind of air I sent some arrogant emails back to my boss because he set me off on the wrong uh, on the on the wrong foot yesterday. So I'm semi looking forward to going in and seeing what kind of cocky emails I get back. That'll be fun. Or it might ruin my night. Who knows? Who the frig knows? Oh, good old LC, eh? Good old LC. Yeah, get this. I'm so freaking tired right now. I had a coffee, but it didn't do shit. Why am I hitting every freaking red light, son of a bitch? Oh my god. Just my luck. I got things and I can't get there on time to do my things. I don't even know what time it is right now. What does my clock say? It is currently 12 o'clock, noon. Let's hope she's there and I can get the cracking on the work because uh, I want to get this job done. Oh, I got to go home and let Scruffy out even though he already had a shit. He should be okay. But I want to go home and let him out, make a lunch, frig off to work, get this Thursday shift over with, get tomorrow's shift over with, and have a good weekend. Anybody else feel like time's just flying? Like it's serious. Hey, look at this big clock on the wall. Nah. So it's 24 degrees Celsius every right now. Probably accurate. She is pretty warm out. And yet another red light. Son of a bitch. So I'll go to the office. We'll get this job completed. It's not this street, is it? The street's this. That is this one. Get this shit done and then uh, we'll head her home. So it's better patter and have at her, people. Alrighty people, the job is complete, payday has happened, now we need to go to the bank and drop off some monies. So let's uh, try and get out of here. If you remember on uh, Tuesday I talked about that big hole, that's the hole right there I'm talking about that I just passed. But uh, if you hit that with directly with the tire, let me tell you your car makes some awesome sounds and I don't like those sounds. But uh, we'll go it over to the bank, we'll drop off these paychecks. Or this paycheck, I should say. These paychecks, really, Adam? You're gonna pluralize one? Freak sakes. And uh, I think it's about what? It's 1.38 right now, so we'll go home. We'll uh, let the dog out. I'm gonna grab a bite to eat because I'm freaking starved. And then go from there. Rex wants to do a quick coffee, maybe. I don't know. So, uh, also, they gave me the old computer to recycle to bring it up to the uh, recycling center. Basically what they do with these old computers, like the hard drive itself, I'm going to smash because it's got a lot of confidential friggin' school information on it. So that's going to get the sledgehammer, quite possibly a couple magnets, and uh, quite possibly the drill press. But I'm going to keep the magnets out of it because those are useful, and I'm going to wreck the rest, wreck the platters and shit so, so they can never be reused. And, uh, the desktop computer, like I said, it needs a new motherboard, but other than that, the rest of the components are fine. And there's this place up on the hill, up on Tebow, they collect old computers, because what they do is they rebuild them with spare parts and just piece together what they can to make a computer, and they give them to families that don't have the money to buy computers and stuff, and schools and students and stuff like that who just don't have the cash to shell out to buy a new computer. So they build these rigs up and then they friggin' fire them out the door to these to, to individuals who need them. And honestly, I think that's a, a great cause. So I don't mind, uh, that's what I do with all my old computers. I just let them build up in the garage and then when I got a lot of them, I load up the G6 and take her up the hill and drop it off. And I've done that before in the past. Brought all those old motherboards and circuit boards into the recycling center for computers and everything was good to go. So basically to import those uh, uh, freaking Outlook Express files, what I had to do, and it was a pain in the ass, was uh, I had to install Windows Live Mail, and then I had to uh, import the the uh, DBX file from Windows Live, or from Outlook Express, to Windows Live Mail, 
and then from there I had to uh, import Windows Live Mail into Outlook. But I didn't bother doing the Outlook import because I showed her, like, well, I got it in here right now. And she's like, well, you know what, that's perfect. I'm like, really? She's like, yeah, now we got all the old emails in one program and all the new emails in a new program. I like it better that way. So we tested the printers out. The printers are working fine. Tested out the internet. Internet works fine. Email set up properly. Everything's good to go. Yo, 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 you know. So now we got... Uh, that's said and done. Deposit this money in my account and we'll be rocking. Tonight I'm going to find out if I'm working 2 till 10 tomorrow, if I'm working 4 to midnight. I have no idea what the hell I'm working. But uh, I'm sure we'll figure that one out tomorrow or tonight, sorry. And now I just need to get to the bank and dump this money into her. Oh geez, what a day. It's freaking nice out right now. I swear winter forgot that it's on its way, or fall forgot that it's on its way. Hell, a lot of the trees around here are still green. Go by work and they're all yellow and they're falling apart. Yeah, a little Acer computer they bought, even though it won't fit a hard drive, an extra hard drive I should say. It's actually not a bad little computer. Uh, it's got an Intel i3, uh, 3 gigahertz, dual core, two threads, uh, six gigs of RAM, Intel 3000 video card, and she told me that they only paid 259 bucks for it. It'd be perfect for a home theater PC, like if I didn't have my other Acer, I'd probably pick up one of those and use it for an HT PC, because it's a super slim line, and holy shit, what the hell are you driving, bud? Look at that, oh, I don't want to be in the, uh, no, I want to be in the, like a nice yellow, not sure what the frig that is. Look at that tires on it. Sweet Jesus. Those gotta be 305 millimeters wide. Where's the exhaust? I don't even see the mufflers. Oh, there they are. Look at all the blue oil burning on the ground. The car smokes more than I do, for freak's sakes. Oh, it's a peak car, yes. Nice car, but fix your freaking engine. Coming into the lane, bud, or do you need a push? So I'll go drop this off, and then we'll get some uh, food in my belly. Because uh, I haven't eaten anything today, and my stomach's hungry. My tummy's hungry, I got a hungry tummy. Skeetle deedle deedle doo. Oh, I'm glad that's over with. Tomorrow I gotta get up early because I got some running around to do, and then Saturday is the birthday party. I'm at a quarter of a tank of gas, I'm gonna have to reload again soon. Yeah, it's been about two weeks. I love the fact that I can ride on 30 bucks for two weeks in this car. No, I couldn't do that with the G6, but whatevs. Doesn't look too busy here, so it should be an in out operation which is the kind that I like. So we'll stab her here, roll up the window, and I'm gonna head in, drop off this money, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Peace the frig out. All right, well after the bank, I went to the uh, grocery store, I bought some freaking toilet paper, because I'm running low. Uh, or as I like to call them, I bought some shit tickets. Some shit tickets. So, what's funny is since the X left, I bought, uh, I bought new toilet paper then, back in March. We're currently rolling into October, and I'm just now buying more toilet paper. Back then, I only bought a roll of nine. This time, I bought the club pack a roll of 24. So that should last me a good year, maybe. Who knows? Also, for flyer day tomorrow, bought me a bottle of wine, some Jackson Triggs Sauvignon Blanc. So I'm gonna hammer this, and we're gonna do flyer day tomorrow. A little drunken flyer day for you. I know you guys love that kind. And also, I bought myself some food, because I'm freaking starved. Bought some uh, chicken strips, so some some chicken tenders, a dozen, and I uh, got myself some sauce to go with them because I'm the sauce mouse, not really some honey garlic. So I'm gonna bring this upstairs. I'm gonna go ahead and eat, render up the rest of my Grand Theft Auto footage, and then maybe I can play some tonight. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. Alrighty, well I ate my lunch. It was pretty good, but now I'm freaking tired, and I don't have time to make a coffee. But I do, however, have time to. Uh, into a gung-ho and have ninja-like focus 
Yep, that's Rocket Gung Ho. Ah, uh, here I go again, uploading the shit out of Grand Theft Auto 5 to Skaven Games and rendering the shit out of Grand Theft Auto 5 for Skaven Games. That's the last video I have to render for now, so we'll let that go through. Hopefully by the time I get home tonight, all those will be uploaded and we'll be ready to rock. I'm going to be in bed early tonight, people. Holy shit, am I ever done. I am done like dinner. Sleepier than frig. So, yeah, we're going to have to head off to work soon. I still need to do something with this, the cell phone thing I bought from the dollar store. I'm going to modify it and make it into a, uh, a makeshift friggin' car mount. But, uh, I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll use it for my phone. But then I looked at the actual uh, phone, phone thing. It's meant for like an iPhone or an iPod because those plastic bits don't stretch. So this thing's useless for a phone unless you have an iPhone or an iPod. Alrighty, well, it's almost 3.30, so I should probably get ready to go to work. I think I hung my keys up downstairs. I'm going to empty out my pockets. I don't need my screwdriver on me. So I'll leave that here. Still got that pen drive, which I'm going to bring with me somewhere. Shit, did I leave that at the office? No, it's in my pocket. Okay. Phew! Thought I left it at the office. Um, I'm gonna let Oreo out for another potty break, and then uh, we gotta go. We gotta go to work. Get some time in. Get yelled at. Should be fun. So we'll let Scruffy Fluff and Puffy will be out, and we're gonna have to get ready for work. Well, theoretically, I'm already ready. I just gotta grab my keys, and get Puppy to come back inside as soon as he's done. I don't know what he's barking at. What are you barking at? Oh, kid on a bike. Silly Puppy. Come on. Every time he comes in, he has to jump up at me, eh? Such a silly little gomer. You're such a silly little gomer, Oreo. This is his. You're so silly. What are you doing? You're prancing around like a little moron, eh? Hey, you little fluffy puppy. Okay. What the heck's all over my window? It's freaking pollen. Why the hell is it pollinating now? Or do trees do that in the fall, too? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, we're taking this thing today. I'm gonna grab some gas for it and then uh, we're gonna head off. So let's go. Uh, you know what? I figure it'll probably be a lot easier to get gas for this thing tonight afterward. Then the Shell station won't be so busy and the streets won't be so crowded with traffic. And I have a feeling that gas out by the place I work will be a couple cents cheaper. So I'll just fuel up on my way home tonight at the Max Mart and then I'll be good to go. I still have a little over a quarter of a tank, so it's not like I'm gonna stall out in the middle of the highway and be dicked. So, yeah. Well, thank God I took that gung-ho, because it's really sitting in. Slowly making me wake up, slowly. Uh, yesterday I was browsing around on eBay. I found a couple keyboard docks for that XPS 10. Still really want that keyboard dock, so I wanna complete that unit. Keyboard dock gives it a lot of cool features like two USB ports, HDMI out, you know, a keyboard and a mouse. It basically makes it into a Windows RT tablet and I kind of want that feature out of that tablet because, well, I don't know if anybody out there has ever used one of these Windows tablets, but when you got to bring up the keyboard, it literally kills like half, holy shit, you guys aren't going to be able to see this, but that's a nice freaking car that I just drove by. Maybe you caught a glimpse of it. A glimpse of it. This is why I like using the driving cam, but everybody complained that they didn't like the uh, sound of the audio coming out of the field recorder with the driving cam. And I don't know why. I'm sure the audio changes between this camera and the, and the audio recorder, but what do you expect? The audio recorder is getting pure audio, where this camera is picking up everything else. But yeah, like uh, I was going on about with the, uh, the dock. It gives it more functionality, and that giant keyboard that comes up when you're using the touchscreen keyboard really takes up a lot of screen room. So it's buck 24.9 here for gas. We'll have to see what it is at work and go from there. Freak sakes, I didn't even see that car back there. Freaking came out of the shell station like a bat out of hell and just freaking, freak sakes, I'm driving like I belong in this city. My car is doing this really weird thing right now where it's trying to accelerate and it's idling really high. I know why it's doing that. It's because there's a sensor missing in the engine bay for the intake air temperature sensor. 
Now it's not that it's missing, it's, it's hooked up, but it's not really set up properly, as in it's not sitting in the air breather. And it kind of fell and hit the header once, and it kind of got burnt, and I never got around to replacing it. So I need to uh, put a crappy tire, spend 10 bucks, buy a new sensor, install said sensor, and actually put it in the air breather and lock it in place. I just, I'm so forgetful, I keep forgetting to go to crappy tire and buy that sensor. And then I'll be at Crappy Tire and I won't buy the sensor, I'll, I'll forget while I'm there. So, once I find that sensor, once I get that sensor, install it, put it in the air breather, and the car will run normal again. Who knows, maybe it'll get even better fuel mileage. Or maybe it might throw my tune right out of order because I did kind of tune it with the way it's set up now. So it might throw my tune way the frig out, I might even get worse fuel mileage. But yeah, she's trying to idle at, uh, well she's idling right, 700 RPMs. That's where it should sit. Sometimes this car will go as low as 400 RPMs idle. Right now she's smooth, she's not rumbling. Well, it's okay if it rumbles, it's when it shakes. So yeah, I did that. I, I went on eBay and I found the keyboard docks. People want about 100 bucks for them. So I was thinking about scooping that up. And then I was looking at uh, these other things. Uh, they, I mentioned it uh, yesterday, I think it was, where you can replace your DVD-ROM drive on your laptop with an extra hard drive. And they sell the caddies for 20 bucks. And the face, the face on it looks like a DVD-ROM drive. Still has an eject button. Doesn't do anything, but has an eject button. And it says DVD compact disc on it, and it looks all authentic. And when you eject it inside the chassis, where you put a two and a half inch drive right into the SATA connector. And then you just stove it into the side of the CD tray where the CD-ROM goes. And it's completely hot swappable. Like, you can always pop out the drive and slap in a freaking uh, CD-ROM if you want. Now that they make freaking 1.5 and 2 terabyte, 2.5 inch drives, you know, if I really wanted to bring my system storage up, that'd be the way to do it. Because the primary drive on there is something like uh, Apple's Fusion Drive, where it has system cache. It uses the uh, micro SATA. Uh, SSD as a system cache, so files that are constantly accessed, like uh, you know when you boot up from, uh, from the ground up, it loads Windows into the MSATA, and it's a solid state MSATA, 64 gig I believe, or 32 gig, one of those two. So Windows is sitting on that right now as well as on the hard drive. It doesn't move files over, it just copies them. Common, com uh, commonly accessed files get copied to the MSATA, and it basically speeds up freaking read write times. What it'll do is, if it needs to change a file, it'll change the file on the MSATA, and then update the drive, uh, update, update the hard drive afterwards. But it'll do as much of the work as possible on the MSATA without, and that's why it gives you your performance. Not as fast as running a SATA, uh, solid state uh, SSD, but or a dedicated SSD, but it does the job. Definitely faster than running that 5400 RPM hard drive by itself, that's for sure. I know the uh, the hybrid drives, or whatever you want to call them, they're faster than a 10,000 RPM drive. And you can buy these hard drives right off of like uh, Newegg and, and uh, NCIX and all that. They're just hybrid hard drives by, I believe, uh, Western Digital. And they come with uh, solid state cash built right in and the drive just knows what to do. It's got it all built into the EEPROM. Pretty freaking awesome technology, I do say so myself. And they're not much more expensive than a hard drive and you can get them in one terabyte size with a 64 gig SSD, but you cannot access the SSD. That is strictly for the system. That's like on my rig, even though it has a a 32 gig SSD or whatever the frig is in it for, for smart caching. I can't see it in System ma Manager because it's physically docked to the hard drive and it's part of that Intel rapid technology. You ever wonder what the hell that is? Okay, so we'll head off to uh, son of a bitch there. Get this ship done. I wonder if I'm gonna get in ship for all those cocky emails yesterday. <laughs> but uh, guess we'll see. I got this computer to dispose of. I haven't even taken it out of my car. It's not that I'm lazy, I'm just, why bother? Why bother doing it now, I'll do it later. I got two computers to dispose of in the garage now. An old Pentium 4 powered Dell and a uh, this one here. So I'll bring them up to that uh, recycling place and they can use it to build computers for the less fortunate. I don't know, I think it's a pretty good charity, our organization, build computers for the less fortunate. and They don't really sell them, they just give them away because they're receiving them free. 
and they only use recycled parts. So it's not like they're putting any money into it. And they're probably government funded too, so. Usually if I do a strip down of the computers, like take all the components out, I'll separate the motherboards from the daughter boards, from the processors and all that shit. Sometimes I just leave the processors and the fans hooked right up to the motherboard and separate the rest. You know, get the RAM off the board, put the RAM in a pile. That's what I did last time when I went there and I brought all that shit up. I had a box of boards, box of RAM, a box of daughter boards, cases. So here's a bunch of computer shit and they're probably able to fabricate maybe four computers out of what I gave them. Which is more than enough, you know. Four computers, four computers they didn't have to give out before. Sometimes this organization, what they do is they'll bring in troubled, uh, troubled kids and teach them the fundamentals of computer assembly and have them build computers and then whatever they build they can bring home and they got a computer at the house that they can use. So that's kind of a cool thing too. Like nowadays selling a PC, it's, it's impossible. Like even if I were to try and sell this thing on Kijiji, I wouldn't get any more than 10 bucks for it because of its age. If it had an Apple symbol on it, I'd probably get 800 bucks. But because it has a PC symbol on it, it ain't worth shit. It's like buying a, a Chevrolet or a Ford friggin' car, you know? Five years down the road, it ain't worth the friggin' tires it's rolling on. They depreciate so bad, but then you buy like an import, like a Honda or a Toyota, and they hold their value pretty well. Their resale after uh, depreciation is pretty good. So I guess you can say PCs are the Chevys of the world and Hondas are the Macintoshes of the world. Thought I was going to come to work today and see all those yellow leaves green again, seeing how fall can't make up its friggin' mind. Right. We are here. We are here. Here we are. Here we are here. So, let's stab this some bitch in a parking lot somewhere. This will work. Maybe. Possibly. Tight fit. And let's head inside and get this shitty shift over with. Alright guys, peace the frig out. Current gas price, 123.6. Cheaper than Shell. Alrighty people, it's friggin' midnight finally. Thank God. The last two minutes are dragged on. Anyway, I'm gonna take this pig over to the gas station. It's still a buck 23 a liter. And we're gonna fill her up and then uh, head her home. So let's go over there. Jesus, I could barely squeeze 45 bucks into her. Oh well. Anyway, let's go home. Alrighty people, I am home. Look you can tell, look you can tell. And I uh, just let Scruffy out for a shit. But he just had to go for a piss. He's so excited to see me. He's so excited to see me. Yes, he's in. Hello. Hey, what were you doing while I was gone? Hey, hey, what were you doing? What were you doing? Oh, you're so foppy. You're so foppy. But uh, yeah, decided to go to Sobeys instead of uh, coming straight home because uh, I wanted to get some snacks and things. So I did, which is awesome. And uh, I'm guessing Oreo spent the whole night moving his foxes around, because before, this one was over there, and this one here was over there, and then he's been moving them. He's growling at his toy. <laughs> really? You're just a nutball, dude. Look at you, rolling around with your rope toy in your face. Oh, you're just so cute. Yes, you yes. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, so, I went to Sobeys, got myself some Om Noms. I'm pretty tired. I haven't, all I ate today was those, those chicken strips I bought from, uh, from, from the grocery store there. So, I'm hungry, I'm tired, it's the way she goes. But, uh, while I was at Sobeys, uh, I saw a Camaro there, and there's spots opened up beside him. So, I decided to park beside him, and, uh, snapped this picture. Pretty sweet, eh? Yeah, two F bodies hanging out, just, you know, chillaxing and things. Gotta freaking love that. I think the Camaro's built on the F body platform. I could be wrong, but uh, to me, a Camaro will always be an F body. So, uh, frig what they say. Yay. He's <laughs> just prancing around with his toy. He's <laughs> so funny. Ah, oh, this dog. So I'm liking what YouTube did, and it's something I didn't realize it until tonight. Um, let's say you make an account, for instance, my Vlog and Life account, and you want to build a separate channel. Now it doesn't require you to make a new username and password. You go to Add Channel, and you can make a new YouTube channel without having to make a new Google account. That is friggin' awesome! Also, unlike what some people were saying, I like the fact that you can uh, have a whitelist, a blacklist, and a banned 
comment uh, or banned words for your videos. That's going to help keep the trolls at bay big time. So like all the people that I know that comment nicely, I'll add them to the whitelist. And that way there, regardless of what they type, if they use any derogatory words that I have listed in my uh, spam filter, they won't get banned. They, their comments won't be set up for approval. And that's what it does. If you type something in and it's in the list, like if I have the word fag in the list and somebody goes up and says, you're a fag, well, the comment then goes under approval and I have to look at it and you know decide if it's going up or not that is cool I like that it's gonna keep the chat the, the chatter a lot cleaner on the channel and uh, like there's some people tonight who posted and they're like oh right to free speech well you know what there's right to free speech and there is you know, people just being belligerent arseholes and saying stuff. And you got to keep in mind, like, I know a lot of my audience is a younger crowd. And I don't know if they scan the comments. I know a lot of them do comment, you know. And I never realized it, that a lot of the audience is a younger brand. Or younger brand. A younger age group. That's better. Younger brand. Yeah, they're from Kmart. But um, I didn't realize that they're a younger, a younger group. Until I looked at the analytics and checked out demograph. And my number one demograph is 35 to 45 my number two demograph is 13 to 18 which means i need to clean up my language a little bit letting the odds swear slip here and there not a problem but uh i really gotta quit losing my shit i just swore fuck i did it again shit fuck shit fuck sorry i won't let it happen again i fucking promise shit but um yeah so that's like I, after seeing that in the demograph thing i was like oh my god okay and uh, that's a good thing that they're going to be blocking comments based on your decision you don't even need to use this feature if you don't want to use this feature just don't go into it and don't configure it it's already disabled you have to go in and configure it in order for it to work right now it's just for this the discussions in beta it's just for the discussion so they can test it out and see if it actually works right but um, once it's fully implemented it'll be for the discussions and the comments so that's awesome and when you block someone now well not now but once this is implemented I'm loving this feature let's say um, I'm just gonna use Rex even though Rex isn't he's never trolled me ever let's say Rex decides to go beacon off at me for some reason and I block him. Then he goes and makes another account called Rex 4x4x4, okay? And he tries to come at me and, and comment again and troll me. He can't because now blocking is no longer by account. It blocks by IP range. That's right. Once this is implemented. Which means you block somebody, that IP address can no longer get you. Does that work? Yes and no. Problem is, is most ISPs out there, uh, like for instance at work, you get assigned a dynamic IP, which means every time you disconnect and reconnect, you get a different IP address. Now, it doesn't happen often on cable, because normally cable, the moment you turn on your modem and you're, you plug in a device, a router, computer, whatever, bam, you got an IP address, you're off to the race. So it could block an IP address like let's say we got like a, for instance Rex and Adrian both in North Bay you know and Rex comes on there and trolls me I block him blocks his IP address he logs out of the internet logs back and gets another IP address Adrian logs in gets Rex's old IP address I'm just this is all hypothetical I'm just throwing names out there now Adrian can no longer comment on my videos so that's why this technique is kind of bad and then a lot of you are probably saying, well, you could just use a proxy server. Yeah, YouTube is going to block proxy servers. That's right. They're going to be blocking proxies. And I, I tested something tonight because uh, one of my friends uses Adblocker. I have Adblocker on my computer, but I only have it on for Facebook and websites. Uh, the moment you log into YouTube.com, the uh, stop sign goes gray and it's disabled. But uh, he's like, dude, turn on your Adblocker on YouTube and go watch a video, any video. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I went and turned on Adblocker, went and watched the video. And lo and behold, it played the uh, it played the ad the, the pre-roll ad, and it had the pop-up. Everything worked. It was like I didn't even have it turned on, and the stop sign was totally red. So I'm like, holy shit! YouTube figured out a way around ad blocker. Now, of course, ad blocker is gonna find a way around YouTube, but uh, all YouTube needs to do is what Blip TV did. Blip TV has it set up where if you have an ad blocker on your computer and it's enabled on their site, and you go to watch a Blip TV movie, the Blip TV site will come back and say, "We have detected you have an." Ad blocker on your computer please disable that ad blocker hit refresh on your browser so you can watch this movie that's all i gotta do just stop the ad block if, if, if it's that big of a deal like the ad blocker thing is what caused youtube to start this paid subscribers now it's not enforced it's an option anybody can do it but that's the reason why they decided to do that to see if they can make some extra bank off of it to try and pay for the cost of running the youtube so they seem to have found a way around ad block now it didn't work all the time it works 75 percent of the time as in you know i watched uh basically i watched all the videos on my queue first video i watched 
watched, there was ads. Second video I watched, there was ads. Third video I watched, nothing. No, no sidebar ad, no freaking mid-roll, pre-roll, no freaking poppy up ad, nothing. That one got caught. But the other times I tried it, it was like, it was hit and miss. Like most of them worked, some of them didn't. So I think YouTube figured out how the ads are being blocked and they're getting around that to try and generate more revenue for the site, which is good because if YouTube ever becomes a paid service, fuck this shit, I'm moving over to Blip TV or straight to Facebook or Blip TV on Facebook. You know what I mean? I'll just friggin' bring up, a, uh, make them upload my videos to Blip, link them on the fan page. You guys can watch them there because Facebook doesn't allow really large videos to be uploaded. I found that out because the one day I couldn't upload my vlog to YouTube, so I was, uh, it was just acting up. So I was gonna upload it to Facebook, and then the vlog was 30 minutes long. Went to go and upload it, and it came back and said, "Sorry, this file, uh, you cannot upload this file as it's, uh, it doesn't meet the required bullshit." Well, I didn't say it like that, but it had some bullshit, and it was like. I checked it out and it was like two gig maximum, which I was under, 15 minute maximum, which I was way over. So that's why the Facebook thing doesn't work. However, Blip TV, you upload there, you just embed the video onto Facebook, problem solved. So that's pretty awesome. How do you say so? So it looks like YouTube's finally doing some things right. We'll see how well this goes, you know. For every right they do, there's 15 wrongs they get. So we'll see how well, what are you doing? Killing your fox now. Yeah. We'll see how well this goes, but uh, I gotta rock a piss. Anyway, people, it's pretty friggin' late. I'm uh, pretty friggin' tired. I need to upload this. Tomorrow I got some running around to do. <sighs> this has been a busy week, and it's not gonna end till Sunday. Let me just tell you a little something about that. Like, tomorrow we got some running around to do, then we gotta work again, and we are working Toodle 10. So I'm just gonna go in Toodle 10 and offer some cover. And then uh, Saturday, I got the day to myself, but uh, from five till whenever, I'll be over at Jules' house, helping her uh, with the birthday party for her daughter, Jenna. And then uh, Sunday, I think it's, it's my time. <laughs> my time to do what I want, so which will probably equal playing the shit out of Grand Theft Auto, maybe some barbecuing, probably a lot of beers, I don't know, we'll see. So on that note, I'm shutting her down here, people. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video. If you did, you know what that like button is, give it a clickety-clack, and uh, questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. Sorry I didn't comment on any comments yesterday. Frig sakes, I was busy, and I just, I'm freaking tired. So on that note, people, and until next time, keep on vlogging.